We are very high energy today. We actually, actually had a long, long drive yesterday. Good God. Uh, oh, yeah? The in-laws are gone, though, so... Hey. It's It's... Finally, some goddamn peace and quiet. Well, you know, as, as peace and quiet as you can get. Yeah. Um, what a what a time to be alive. Yeah. Don't you agree? It's a weird time. Weird times. Weird times. Roller skating is what I hear is is hip these days. I'm uh, I'm excited. Yeah. I spent right. I spent more money on roller skating gear than I would than I would like to say I spent, but I'm excited for it. I think that's something you you would want to spend money on, like. To be to be safe and you know to yeah. not have it like break the, on the you. Yeah, like the gear right? for it for sure. Like having yeah. a helmet and pads, it's gonna like potentially help me not break a wrist. Yeah. And I'm still the only one in my family that has not had a concussion or broken a bone. Both my okay, sister that's... and my brother have both had a concussion and broken a bone. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, concussions are a lot of fun. You, yeah, it's almost like drugs. I hear. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But don't, yeah, don't go out. <laughs> having concussions but yeah uh yeah. sounds like a lot of fun um I'm and i think it's a worthy investment of you know it's it's just an investment i, I hear these days that <laughs> it's important to invest in like your your mental health as well because you know yeah. i'm not i'm not saying i'm going crazy but i'm, I'm going fucking crazy <laughs> <laughs> I think I would I'd be significantly more like mentally stunted in this time if I was not going out and playing tennis or going and walking every day. Because yeah, just getting outside yeah. helps me so much with not going yeah. absolutely batshit insane. Because I can't. Fine. We're doing okay. fine. Um, I hear um, I I was listening to another podcast and apparently in Australia they're like doing a full lockdown and like you're not allowed to go further than five kilometers from your house. Wow. Or something crazy like that, and like only one person per day from every household can go to like the stores to do groceries and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, and I'm just glad that it's not here yet, but uh. I, it maybe it should be maybe maybe that would work it and could you know be. we would get we would get out of this whole situation faster but who knows who's yeah. to say I nobody keep knows looking in the college that I went to they are now they just moved students in like this past weekend and there's like I follow it like the Facebook page and like the Reddit page and people were like people wear your fucking masks or we're all going to get sent home yeah, and yeah. I'm just I'm it's just true. looking at that, and I'm just like I am so glad I'm not in that position. It's true. It's true. It's uh, crazy. It's, it's rough in colleges for sure. Um, also, people don't give a shit. <laughs> people are. I know. People are a little bit selfish. Yeah. And you gotta um, recognize that if you do that, it's not gonna end well for everyone. Comes with the cost for everyone for sure. Yeah. Anyways, speaking yeah. of uh, losing your mind. Oh. Um, I don't know what I was going to follow that with. Uh, the game has been going fine. I get this connection error every once in a while. And I'm like, ah, that's like my mental state right now. That's great. Yeah, that's it's just a small that. little error bubble, but yeah, doesn't go down uh, for maintenance. Right? It, it's been kind of annoying. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I prefer just seeing the little icon then to like full server going down though. Oh yeah, for sure. And I also prefer seeing the little icon to like that that ugly text in the bottom of the screen with like there's a problem connecting to the network. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, today obviously was a mm-hmm. massive day for uh, MCOC fans who also are familiar with what other games Kabam is planning on yeah. releasing. Today being the tenth, that this will probably be released on the eleventh also. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So. Uh, we had the first gameplay reveal of Marvel Realm of Champions, mm-hmm. and I'm just realizing right now that saying the full name of the game is actually kind of hard for me. I don't know. If, I Marvel don't know if I'm Realm just, of Champions. Mar- Marvel Realm of Champions. Yeah. I so, yeah, Ars and Sunday tripped me up. Yeah. Um, so we had it in a live stream, and I actually missed the live stream. Can you like walk us through what happened during the live stream? Because basically, the only like, the additional part of live stream was a few more frames of the game picture. Not the game yeah. picture. Like, the cover picture. And okay. then it went into Kabam Thel, who's the community manager that's going to be working on Marvel Realm of Champions. Ooh, talking. Oh. 
about introducing the game and then saying that they had the gameplay reveal, which people have been asking for, and then yeah. into the reveal trailer that's everywhere else. Which is a pretty quick trailer. And yes. I'm, uh, by that, I mean it's it's short. And it's also really, really fast. Good God, everything is happening so fast in there. <laughs> uh, I definitely did slow it down to like 0.5 speed when I was looking back through it. Yeah. And like the gameplay looks really, like really complicated. It it has, from what I see, it has some elements of like some of the MOBAs I've played with like a, a, a battlefield area mm -hmm. and you are you have characters and you're trying to fight against some other characters and maybe like take over some base of sorts like the base was that maybe that uh that big modok head uh that brian was speculating on it when, when i watched his video like yeah uh, maybe like I think you're trying to kill um... the other team's modok or something like that Oh, I didn't realize there's faces. Sorry. I just looked at the Astro Plane one and there's like faces that are being held by the tentacles and I didn't notice that before. Uh, They're yeah. kind of cool though. The the Sorry. areas, the, the arenas look amazing. Yeah, the all of them look really look cool. So cool. I kind of want the Astro Plane one to come to MCOC as a, as a battleground and I'm hoping maybe. Yeah, man. That, those, it looks like, so cool. Those tentacles. Oh my god. That would be so cool and so creepy. Uh, but... I think, like, initially I've seen some comments comparing the game to Marvel Super Wars. Yeah. And just right off the bat, uh, you you look at, like, the the battle arenas for uh, Realm of Champions, and you look at the, uh, when I used to play, when I, like, played for, like, a day or two of <laughs> Super Wars, it, that game just has one arena. Yeah. And it has basically next to nothing to do with marvel like there's like some like panther statuettes in there in the super wars arena but like this game uh, it it really it feels like a marvel that... world it feels like a marvel world and it really shows that they have put like time into designing all of that mm -hmm. because with super wars it looked like any other generic mobile moba where like you know instead of random characters now you have marvel characters you can you can throw into this generic looking arena but yeah man this yeah. this this aspect of it was really cool to see um yeah the customization screen actually looks pretty cool too it's like at least seven different layers of things you can choose yeah it looks Not like seven. the six it honestly to me it looks like a lot of like uh when I was when I played Marvel Spider Man on PS4, mm -hmm. it looks like some of the some of like the the uh, the uh, costume cho like cho choosing page of that like the yeah. character you were choosing the costume for or like the 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 gear for the equipment for uh, it's just right in your face and you can see like it zooms in and like it it looks really cool. Is what I say. Uh, yeah. Like the arenas and the characters and everything. They look really cool. Um, but right before we started recording, you told me something about like a lot of these MOBAs. Because I think I definitely share a lot of the same oh, sentiment. Um, for me, I I think I briefly tried to play the Marvel Super War. I don't yeah. think I've really tried to play any mobile that, that extensively. Yeah. Like, it has a very similar look to how I remember Future Fight, but I also haven't played Future Fight in at least a year or two, where it's, like, you're using a finger to run someone along the screen and tapping your specials to use them. Definitely, yeah. And that extent, I don't always enjoy those games, because I don't feel like I'm good at those games, which is either a hyper-competitiveness of wanting to be good at something in order to continue playing it for me. <laughs> Um, I mean, I definitely get that, right? Like, if yeah. if you want to keep playing a game, you you probably want to be good enough in the game for your you know level of expectation, yeah. right? Yeah, and that, and there's also a extent of when it's a multiplayer format. I don't like playing with other people that I don't know sometimes because I feel like I'm being a dead weight. <laughs> like with stuff like this, where it's a Real-time, yeah. 3v3, I, I, it stresses me out. 
Also, I'm not sure how, like, just a quick tangent. Like, I've played yeah. MOBAs before, and I, I'm i not sure how they're going to manage the, the in-game chats, because those get pretty crappy, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, if they do an internal client, I'm sure it'll be... Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a challenge on its own, but I I definitely see where you're coming from in terms of mobas. Like I've played a lot of mobas on PC before, yeah. And there is so like I've I've attempted to play mobas on on mobile devices. There was like Arena of Valor, which mm-hmm. got popular for a little while, and I tried to do Super Wars and. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call Future Fight a MOBA, but um, it's like a, it's like some sort of an action RPG of sorts. Yeah, of I, I you, know it's not considered a MOBA. It's just like the way that the gameplay looks looks similar. Yeah, if that makes you still sense. have the camera angle from from up top. Yeah, you, you see your characters run and like you do skills and like you do specials and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Um, and for me, like when when it comes to like mobile MOBAs. Uh, or mobiles in quotation marks, I guess. If mm-hmm. like this is not a mobile, but it, for me, when it comes to mobile games with this format of gameplay, it it usually is just tiny. Like the screen yeah. is too small for you know all of the action to fit in there, and for me to actually notice every little thing that's going on. Because when you play on PC, you gotta like pay attention to every little thing, right? Yeah. You gotta pay attention to your mana. You gotta pay attention to to everything else that's going on on the screen, to what your enemy is doing, to what's happening at your base, what what your friend is doing, if your friend is coming to like heal somebody else, or like uh, it it's 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 a complicated genre, right? Yeah. And I think for for a complicated genre, the mobile screen it's just not ideal. And also, uh, when playing on a PC, you have the the keyboard, right? You have the keyboard and the mouse, and usually when you have a keyboard and a mouse. The reaction times are significantly faster instead of like having to move your thumb you just have your you know fingers on the keyboard on the you know uh, designated keys sometimes yeah. you have to move them around but usually it's just that uh, awd ds situation but um yeah like i'm i'm a little worried in that sense um but we shall we shall see you yeah. know, how the ui works for this game because i think mcoc also you know prove this wrong when it comes to uh having a game that's that's controlled intuitively with yeah. a phone screen right like that's gonna be the biggest thing for me on if i feel like i can get really into it is gonna be how easy it is for me to pick up <laughs> yeah yeah um so that's something that won't be seen for a while so we'll have to wait on that like I think it's important for any game who wants widespread appeal to be easy to be picked up, and yeah. also if they want dedicated players, if they want players who are, you know, uh, experts in the game, it should also mm-hmm. be, you know, hard to to get to a level of like masterfulness of it. I guess is yeah is um, is my stance on that. But uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty excited for for hearing more about it uh obviously like we we know some of the people from mcoc we know gabe uh, from mcoc is actually heavily involved in this in yeah. the story aspect of it right yeah he um, does also um tweet tidbits out about things at times yeah yeah and also thel uh yes who's who's a beautiful man is what yes. is what i say uh, is also apparently involved in some form or another in the game. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm wishing them best of luck, uh, hoping the game succeeds, and, you know, uh, we'll see we'll see where we go from here, right? Yeah. <laughs> is, there, see what happens. is there a new sign-up, like, sign-up for betas for the game? or I have old? not seen anything of the sort. Okay, okay. So it's just the same one as it was before, right? Yeah, the same, like, information link. When I yeah. went on that site earlier to look for, at, like, the news post, the last one that had been posted to, like, the news side of it wasn't, like, was, like, from, like, one of the earlier champion or baron people that they did. Okay. Which is okay. weird to me. 
Gotcha. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, websites, man. They. Yeah. You never know with websites. Uh, Brian wanted to make one for yours. He never did. Yeah. <laughs> um, your audio went way down. Can you oh, hear me? Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I think Discord grabbed it or something. Ah, Discord. There was a Discord pain. Discord be grabbing audio. Ah, I see. Oh. <laughs> a good thing to yeah. <laughs> There's also me just typing away. Yeah. All right. Oh wait, I'm okay. down. There's a link right there. Why did I even type it? Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just edit <laughs> a little bit up. Um, okay, moving on to another bit of news we got today. Yes. Can you walk us through some of the the variant five news. Yes, we got, we got I'm very some. Very excited about all of those. Yeah. So we've got our first info dump about Variant 5, which will be coming on the 12th this Wednesday at 10 a.m. PST, which is about the normal time every event quest drops ever. Yeah. Um, the Variant difficulty will be available for levels 45 and up. There's also, um, I just want to say this to you, I don't know if you are aware of this, but there's a thing where if you are below like level 40, you cannot get to the back issues tab. Like, it's just plain not there for new players hmm. until they're above, like, level 40, and that's kind of weird. And I don't Aren't get they supposed to be able to get to they're the supposed, classic I think one? they're supposed to be able to get into classic, because classic is, like, level 12 and 6. So I'm not huh. sure why it's that way, so I need a pee. I might need that a sounds like a book. It. That sounds like a book. Yeah, I think we brought it at one point, but we never got an answer from someone. So I will bring yeah. that up to them again because it's weird. Um, speaking of a um, quick tangent about bugs yes. with classic difficulties of variants. <laughs> um, I'm one of those weirdos who actually 100%ed all of them so far. Yeah. Uh, because I have like energy at the end of the month and I want units. So the obvious answer is yeah, you you know, classic variants. Classic. <laughs> uh, I know that's weird. Guys, guys, I know, I know. I think but, it makes sense if you're at the point where you have nothing else to do and energy is expiring. It's that yeah, or farm yeah. revives, I guess. Uh, why, why would I? Why do I need you? Anyways, <laughs> um, so I I have done that, but upon like during doing that, uh, <laughs> I've noticed that sometimes when I enter some of those quests. There are lines that are explored, mm -hmm. but they're actually in the middle of the quest. So, like, my quest says that I have explored 6% of it, right? Uh -huh. But when I go in there, uh, when I start at the first node, that first line is not explored. So, I've apparently never went through that first line, right? But then there's a random line in the middle there. That has been explored in the past, probably by me. Yeah. Like when it first came out as a as a monthly event quest. And like it I has think... like a partial bit of a path explored. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's, um, that's pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, definitely take a screenshot of that. Yeah, and, yeah. And I'll, 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 I have screenshots of that. I think I'll just send it to the bug report stuff. But yeah, it's it's pretty weird. Um, anyways, proceed. This is yes. this is a fun. So we have variant five coming on Wednesday, as we were saying before. Yep. Um, for this variant, it is going to shake up the roster, and that's going to be through them restricting access to only Spider Verse heroes in the first chapter, symbiote heroes in the second, or symbiote characters in the second, and Mystic champions in the third. Yeah. Okay. So those are the only champions you'll be able to use to explore Variant 5. Wait, isn't it uh, Mystic for a second? Uh, yes. Yeah, Mystic for... yeah, yeah, My yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 they list them... If they list them in one order, why don't they keep the same order? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's <laughs> Spider-Verse, Mystic, and then Symbiote. Okay. Which I guess nice. makes sense, because it's like Blood and Venom and stuff. Um, Spider Verse champions, so not just heroes, right? Spider Verse heroes. Let's see, champions. It says restricting assets to only Spider Verse heroes in the top part. So, like, hashtag hero characters. Uh, let me see. 
Hmm. Let me go to one of my Spider-Verse characters. So, like, Mysterio. Like, a lot so, like, of... All the spider heroes have a spider verse tag, but any like villain that's from the spider verse doesn't have a tag. If that makes sense. Oh, like it, it doesn't. It's not including the Sinister Six people. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because I so think that's only a small pool. Yeah. Because I so think that's... um, if you look on Aunt May, I believe. Slug has it where Spider Verse filters into the symbiotes, like the um, Sinister Six. I mean, not symbiotes. Yeah. But it's strictly people that have a Spider Verse tag. Okay, so it's basically Spider Gwen, um, OG Spider Man, and uh, Miles Morales. Oh, it's not Agent Venom. Well, I Stark guess it makes Spidey. sense. Spidey, yeah, Stark Spidey, Stealth Spidey. Symbiote Spidey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that's a small pool for the first chapter for sure. That's yeah. Like, that's like six champs. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then Mystic is probably one of the higher ones, and then Symbiote is also probably pretty. I forget. I feel like there's at least seven symbiotes. Yeah, there's yeah. exactly seven symbiotes. Hmm. Okay. Really limited. Yeah. Um, but they will all have a buff per each chapter for those characters. Um, and then they have also given a decent little rewards buff to the variant difficulty. Okay. Which yeah. includes right. a generic version of a rank 3 to 4 gem for 2015 through 2017 champs. Which is unexpected, right? Which we is something that, that I did not expect because they had told us they were not going to do a 2017 one. But I yeah, guess it, that's It changed. makes a lot more sense to do it generic and it also makes a lot more sense to do it uh, until 2017. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. I, right. I think it's well received for sure. Yeah. Um, is it also more gold? Let me pull up one of the variant quests so I can look at It's a lot things. of gold in there. Four million gold? Good god. Yeah. Like, that's more uh, gold than we've gotten before, right? I think so. I'm oh, well, that's sure. all of it. Let me look. So, let me just oh, read through uh, the buffs real quick. Uh, yes. So, for Spider Verse heroes, uh, each hit that a Spider Verse champion avoids from the defender's special attacks would miss evade or dexterity well none of them miss so evade or dexterity get an indefinite responsibility indefinite responsibility passive only function on uh only functions on hashtag spiderverse hero champions well that last line there makes me think that maybe it's not restricted that's where it is confusing but i believe i asked someone and they told me it was restricted okay. to just those All champions right. uh we Let me make sure I've interpreted that comment Wednesday. back to me, right? Yeah. So, uh, they get this uh, indefinite uh, responsibility passive when they dex or evade a special attack from the defender. And then, upon receiving three of them, convert them into a great power buff, increasing uh, it lasts 10 seconds, making yeah. the attacks ignore armor and resistances. Uh and they also make their attacks unblockable. And uh, you cannot gain more responsibility when you have great power. Wait, what? But I thought with great power comes great responsibility. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the person who had answered my question told me that they think that's how it's going to work. Is yeah. it's going to be gated? But it is unsure. We'll see, it's Wednesday. So I think Wednesday there's a possibility. Chance. I think regardless, I think you might only be able to use the champions of those three groups. Okay, But gotcha. I think we will see when it comes time. Good. And we only have two days, so. Yeah. And if uh, you're hearing this now, we only have one day. We only have one day. I'm really excited for this. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to definitely, definitely do it on day one. I, ha I have too many things I need to do. 
Man, I'm, there's I'm... such a long list of content. <laughs> and then for the second chapter for mystic characters, yeah, and this one is also interesting. For each buff on the defender, so like you want a mystic mystic character that leaves buffs on the defender. Yeah. You get twenty five percent ability accuracy, ten percent attack, twenty five percent bleed debuff duration. Uh, twenty five percent armor break debuff duration and ten uh, percent power rate. Yeah. Now there's some crazy interactions that I can think of with some mystic characters that that would be pretty sweet with this. Does Doctor Voodoo's Loa count as a buff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a buff. It's a buff. Yes. For sure. Uh, so I think like That's this is funny. actually not gonna be that great with like a character like. Doom or Sim Supreme who kind of like get rid of buffs really really quickly um, I think I agree with that unless they do something like one of the Venoms that can stack like 20 buffs at one time or even like things that stack more buffs than you can Delphi yeah that could be that's true yeah like something well, like Sim um what's it called resistor Oh yeah, resist! Oh my God, resistor in this chat. Please just give it a global resistor. Oh, that'd be like so some good. things like that. Like even if you put like a chaos node, it'd be kind of interesting to see too. See, I, I brought up the example of like Doom and Sim Supreme because with those two, like nullification is like imminent. Well, it's a stagger. So if they already have the buff, you can't nullify it for the most part, right? Uh, well, with no Doom and uh, like with Doom, if you activate your aura and you hit them is there like ah, a 30% yes, chance yes. per hit to, to nullify and with sim supreme uh, like if you want to go into your damage phase you gotta do the sp3 and yeah. sp3 nullifies everything but then like a champion like sorcerer supreme a champion like um claire uh, sasquatch uh claire to to a certain extent like her sp2 is still pretty important in her Rotations, yeah, but if you but don't, you if you're that, looking right? just to not nullify, you can get yeah. it to be. Yeah. She only nullifies five buffs in a fight if you're not trying to do more for it. Yeah, and you're running fun. Besides, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited for all of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, maybe it'll make you know Ebony Ma uh, something or oh, another. Boy. No, it won't. I um, think Ebony doesn't Ebony Ma also have like the he gives them a fury on his special one. Yes, but I it think gives the them a, a pretty it. short fury, and then he—it's just there for his next SP one to nullify yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's indefinite or something. No, it's not. No. Nope, it's very short. <laughs> okay, six seconds. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, not the shortest, but pretty short. So this is uh, pretty interesting to hear, like a, a mystic buff going against some of the top mystic characters uh i'm excited to see how this plays out yeah and for the third chapter for <laughs> symbiote attackers they get uh, on defenders uh hits on this defender grant symbiote attackers like when you hit a defender mm -hmm. um, you get indefinite mitosis buffs yes they can stack up to 10 and then um with genetic recal recalibration, you uh, if you're a symbiote attacker, you dash back, you hold block for 1.2 seconds, which is pretty, like, it's, it's on the shorter side of the block holding things. Yeah. Uh, all avail available mitosis buffs into a genetic uh, calibration effect for one second per buff consumed, so, like, maximum of 10 seconds. Um, mm -hmm. Calibration reduces defender ability accuracy by a thousand percent. <laughs> And increases attack your buff duration by 100% and heavy attack damage by 500%. Yeah. What? What? It sounds like fun. Who are them symbiotes? Yeah. Symbiotes. And it's all... It's all... Yeah, okay. I'm assuming it says all ability accuracy. So it's the node accuracy, potentially. And then the offensive and defensive. Oh, this is going to be fun. Actually, it might not be the node. I think they might have not do that anymore but i don't know that'll be interesting like venom's heavy oh my god <laughs> <laughs> is there like a none of these symbiotes like get a 
uh, like a uh, attack bonus from having more buffs on them. I right. want to say no. Yeah. Uh, really I actually um okay. I did end up sig two hundred to my symbiote supreme that's rank five, and I still don't know how to play them. Oh, just SP threes, um, and you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Like SP threes, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but like after the SP three, you get this protection buff, and like you you rotate oh, through true. the protection buff pretty uh, like within your rotation as well, but it's pretty slow. But after the SP three, you get it. And you can tank SP3s with it, like, really easy. Like, oh, yeah, it. that's true. Yeah. All right. Um, I know very minimal things. And then there's the the rewards, which is good guy. Yes. Man. I'm, I'm really Beefy. excited for this. And I know people are saying that it's not, like, uh, some people are saying that it's not enough in terms of six-star rank-up materials. And I am for that. I like that. Um it's, I mean, it gives you a quarter of a tier 5 CC, which is the same amount you get by doing one chapter of Act 6. Yeah, which is also valid. Which I feel and like also is gives pretty you comparable. tier 5 basic catalysts, three of them, which is you yeah. know, also great. Uh, it's more than we've gotten in these before as well. Yeah, it doesn't give T2A, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> but I like uh, five star rank up gems a lot more than six star rank up gems because we are at, a, at that stage where five stars kind of feel like maybe they could be losing some sort of power but yeah especially when it comes to like prestige and stuff which is just a gross gross game but man i love having two to three generic rank up gems three of them yeah and then having three generic three to four 2015, 2016, 2017 rank up gems. That's amazing. Yeah. They did remove the the one of the gene- one of the class rank up gems three to four uh, from the last iterations, as far as I remember. But mm. that's like a that's like a more than fair um, more than fair uh, comparison over there. Like, um, and then we got the the four to five gem crystal which is four or five stars and i'm really excited to see what i get from that because yeah i I think a lot more people have five stars that they're excited to rank but then partially because of this pressure that's created by the community and partially because of the the push for six stars they just they just don't feel like they're worth it anymore but then you have this gem and you you get this cool champion and you want to rank them you can rank away there's there's no there's no problem with that, right? Yeah. Sometimes for me, I have an opposite effect where I look in my inventory and I see tier two A in my overflow, and I'm like, oh, I can't use a rank up gem right now. I need to use actual tier two A, and then I want to rank the same five star anyways. Well, you got that. You got that Cat Murdoch syndrome going on there because y'all don't. I use I'm resources. not at the same level as Cat is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cat's at a different level. Cat's at a. I love her, but she's at a different level. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> it, it's it's too funny. She's I did a... rank someone up to rank two as a six star recently. Ooh. Though. Ooh. Because I kept Ooh. saying on here that I wanted to just do it to mags before the buff stuff got all come that's out. So I went ahead and did that a... the other week. What a... <laughs> that's a pretty good rank up. I say. Potentially. I say it's a good I guess we'll up. see. I, we have somebody in our alliance that has a rank three Magneto as a six star, <laughs> nice. and I don't know. We'll uh, see. I don't think any of the like reworks so far have been bad, so I think that's a good ranker. Yeah, could be. Yeah, we'll uh, see. don't. I wouldn't recommend people doing it before seeing what's what's happening and what's not. But yeah, you know. I had one tier five basic and a tier two alpha in overflow, and I just kind of looked it down. It's like I'm gonna do this anyways. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Um, or I was pretty sure I was gonna do it anyways. I'm I'm hoping. Uh, let's let's read down this list of rewards. Uh, but I'm yes. I'm excited for the five star materials. Um, uh, five stars are a Sorry. ton of fun. Uh, they're, <laughs> I keep they're... checking. No, 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 they're they're like way easier to acquire as well. Like yeah, we also I didn't notice this when I was looking through it earlier, but we get the crystal shards for the five star instead of full crystals. 
Yes, yes, Which is nice. yes, we do. If you can go so for nice. the featured, or you can go for the class j- crystals instead of just doing the basic. Really, really good choice. Like with yeah. uh, switching the crystals from just being basic five stars to being shards. The current featured pool is really good. I'm still missing yeah. like a red guardian from it. So now that I've set it on here, I'm never gonna get him. Uh, <laughs> but if you get him next, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> but uh, and also there's that uh, that class five star crystal that is also super cool like I've, I'm seeing and especially for progressing players that the class five star crystal is amazing yeah like, I think it it lets you narrow down into the two classes and like I feel like when I was first getting five stars I only got like skill and you didn't five stars for the longest time and I never got any other classes until like a while this is in. like a perfect way to avoid all of that yeah um, even if you can't choose which class you're gonna get you can make it pretty dang close yeah um, I was hope I'm not sure if this is happening, but uh, I was hoping that you know maybe sometimes they would like switch some of the classes, like you know instead yeah. of science and mystic, it would be like science. No, and I skill. think it's always going to be the yeah, same yeah. class groups. I, I thought so, uh, but that would have been that would have been cool as well. But I'm I'm yeah. glad that they're giving twenty five thousand five star shards. Yeah, uh, tier five basic three of them. That's really good. Uh, tier five CC fragments twenty five percent. I know it's not a selector, but I don't I don't even know how that distribution is gonna go. Like, is it gonna be like ten percent, ten percent, five percent, or is it just one twenty five percent thing? The way it's worded makes me think it's one of the end because I think it was multi- If it was like five ten percent, I think they would write it as five percent times five. Yeah. That's my personal opinion. It may not be right. It could be a different way around, but I think it'll be for exploring. Yeah, I don't I don't know, if I know which one I would prefer for myself, but I think for the majority of players, I don't even know what, what would be better for majority of players. I think it, there's two different groups. If you're in the group of, I want this one class and I have like 10% left to go, you want it yeah. broken down. Yeah. If you're someone that's more like me, that's just like, oh, I don't have a rank three yet. I kind of want one. I just want as much as I can get in one class. This is perfect. Or if you're somebody like Cat Murdoch, uh, you're never going to get a rank three because they're going to take over your Medusa. No. <laughs> she can't. She, well, if Medusa is Medusa is that as a six star? No. Okay. Someday. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> um, or if they ever make it so your top champ can be whatever you pick it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Um, this, <laughs> but I yeah, twenty five percent also has a benefit if you haven't done some of the other content that lets you select a crystal for a certain percent. This helps you get close to one. Yeah, it helps you get close to one, and then you can have a better like you can make a more informed decision when it comes yeah. to selecting what class you want. And then also, so, if you're close, if you get to the one that you need, it helps you yeah. not use. Speaking it of that. selecting, that that fifth week of boss rushes is is, is going to be here pretty decently soon, like September second. So, uh, yeah. if if you guys want to make a better decision on that. Uh, if this is going to be a 25%, I would like recommend doing this before uh, doing that, if, if you can, of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to be that's gonna be pretty good. And then there's six star shards, 5,000 of them, and I think that's, mm-hmm. that has gone up, like doubled from the previous iterations of... Yeah, it's uh, definitely variants. gone up. The before, you only... I think you got maybe 3,000 from in Chapter Rewards or something. Yeah, yeah. I can look at what it exactly is. Um, and then five or six stone crystals. It's still forty-eight. That's like, come on, kabam. You know, you know, you gotta increase that one. That's a that's a question right there for me. And then there is uh, for gold the six four stones? million for the five or six stone crystals. Yeah, I think it is increased from before. Is it? But not by much. I think before we only got like thirty because you get ten per chapter. Mm. So it is increased. It's just not increased by that much. Yeah, you uh, you can go like. Okay, you got thirty six before, and now you'll 36, get forty eight. Okay, yeah, you can you can go like up to, like a hundred of these. <laughs> but these are like class distributed as well. Like so, if you give one hundred and twenty, <laughs> right? If you get if you give a hundred twenty, 
with uh, like even odds, uh, you got uh, twenty per class, right? That's one sig, one dupe per per class, and that's not even. That I much. think it's. Uh, it also comes weird because then you're looking at. Okay, so say you're a new player and you're going to go into the variants and you're going to do one of each of them. Like, you're going to do each of them. And 100% yeah. them all in, like, a year. Yeah. That's a lot of signature stones if you make them all, like, 80 even. I mean, you can definitely use them all because, like, the five stars take a lot more signature stones yeah, than a four star would. Yeah, five stars. Um... But then I think just... it might also be that if they increase it by so much, then it looks different from the other quests, and then they need to buff the other quests, which they still oh, could they do. Should. They should. And it they would should. be kind of nice to have those buffed I too. See. But I say they should do that. But uh... I don't. I think those quests are only going to get easier since release than well, other than the first one. The first one's kind of annoying. Speaking of easier, um, I do hope that in terms of difficulty, this whole thing is less close to variant one and more close to like variants the later ones <laughs> so yeah uh i'm excited to see how that's gonna work out yeah um all right i'm just looking through the chat th through the comments seeing if there was any kabam responses in there there's just i think might confirm that it was a generic and i don't feel like there's much else man so good so good so good yeah. There's a there's a meme reply to that generic uh, response. Ah, oh, what a meme! Memes are fun. <laughs> uh, uh, now uh, I did drop a little hint about Ma never being good. Oh. And he's just not the only one that's never gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potentially. What's, what's with these floating characters? There's a problem with them. Maybe right? it's just the heralds. It is the heralds. They do hate the heralds. Um, well, Surfer has like the high prestige going for him. Yeah. So you're talking Can about uh, Air Squatter, <laughs> Airman, <laughs> Thick Thighs. Yeah. He does come in for prestige right under Sunspot at number 15. That, that's great, but <laughs> <laughs> that's in other words. Yeah, I if mean, you step in a pile of poop, it's still not fun to look at. Yeah. Okay, so that's a bad analogy. I'm sorry. I do not have enough sleep for this. <laughs> he is. Um, to me, I've been playing around with him for for a little bit. We're we're going into our champion review bit right now. I'm gonna be posting this episode along with his pros and cons. Okay, Star, tell us, <laughs> what do you think of him? I have okay. Let me preface this with I have not played with him that much. I've done okay. maybe two fights against Winter Soldier, and then I went into like six dot one dot three just see if that was gonna be better because I realized that you cannot use a special three unless you have three fights one, which is annoying. Okay. Yeah. Right now, I think he... It's a lot of text. I don't feel like learning him because I don't feel like he's going to serve me that well, especially because he's very unsuicide friendly. It is so much text, for sure. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, what was your experience after like you... You went into six point uh, one dot one dot four. You said dot the ghost chapter, the one yeah, that's okay. really long. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Mainly because I knew that one has the long distance relationship where you get the weakness on you, so you can heal some. Okay. Yeah. Man, that chapter is really fun. Yeah. Um, I remember doing it with Aegon back in the ye old days. <laughs> oh, so old. Back in my back in my day. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Um, so but yeah, I did not try to play around with him that much as I kind of did it maybe an hour before we recorded this. So yeah. I'm smart. He has, okay. uh, this is not my joke. I don't remember who said this, but I think it was Kat actually. He has those <laughs> harnesses just keeping those thighs in. Those metal harnesses, they're not to, <laughs> they're not to keep him safe. They're to keep us safe from those thighs. Uh, no, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and 
he's definitely a lot of text. Um, I've played around with him a, a decent bit. Played around with him. Played around with some of his synergies. Mm-hmm. And there's like a question mark in one of the synergies too. So I'm excited to see what Cosmic Ghost Rider that's going to be. Uh, wait, <laughs> it might it also be, be Fire Lord. It, I mean, we, got, we, we already got a Star Lord. We don't need a Fire Lord. We can no okay. more Lords. Uh, oh Lord. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me just nice. pull up all of his abilities and everything. Yeah. So I can go through these. Basically, I don't think I understood him. how his crossfight worked until I'm reading it again now. It doesn't. It doesn't work. The crossfight... I think it's mostly... A, it's not going to happen unless you're on defense. Yeah. Which is annoying. Um, so annoying. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just going uh, gonna to read through some of the stuff. Uh, basically, he has... He has a couple of mechanics. He has a power gain. He has a passive power gain from Power Cosmic. Where uh, you build a Power Cosmic after every fight you win. Capping out a 3. So at three, uh, after 2 fights, you, you have the maximum power gain you can have from Power Cosmic. Uh, due to having that, his base like hit power uh, generation is reduced by 40%. And that's, like, the balancing factor there, I guess. Um, especially, like, on defense, it would be it would be pretty pretty insane to to have him gain power normally. Um, oh, it's just offensive power. It's, like, 9% power. of a bar of power every Never second. Never mind. It's just offensive okay. power. Uh, offensive uh, combat power. It is decreased by 40%, not defensive. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Just just fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm you loving... gain less when you're hitting them. You gain more when you're getting hit. Or you gain the same amount when you're getting yeah, hit. Yeah, so like when you're on defense, you gain the same amount of power as you, any other champion getting hit, but you also have your power gains. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm just having a grand old time with this guy. Yeah. Um, so until you reach that three power cosmics, you cannot activate your SP3. You yeah. get to the SP3, but you just can't activate it. You... You, you just barely get to... You get, get to, to a yellow bar and a little bit away from a red bar. Yeah. It's like, you don't get a cosmetic of, like, you having red bars and hitting it and throwing a special two. Yeah, no. Uh, but it's... Um, so, basically, uh, you have the... You, ha- you have to build up the charges and then get to the... Get uh, to three of them and then uh, eventually you can you can activate the RSP3. Uh, at the start of the fight... Uh, when using him, you want to focus on building Dark Tide debuffs. And these Dark Tide debuffs uh, get applied to the enemy when you launch specials based on the number of buffs you have on yourself. There's multiple different ways of gaining buffs on yourself when you're landing specials. Uh, some of them involve charging the heavy, some of them involve synergy, some of them involve like dexterity and stuff. So there are ways to to uh, accelerate this dark tide debuff build up especially in that like first match that you're that he's participating in on offense uh because you know the the power cosmics also counts as buffs and those uh definitely they contribute a decent amount to making it easier to build the dark tide debuffs um so you want to build those up you want to get those to 10 and every time the enemy reaches a, a bar of power, they purify one of them, is is, is my understanding. Uh, yes. Upon remove Dark Tide debuff on them every time they fill a bar of power. Or if they re- nullify power cosmic. Yeah. Um, so th- those are actually two ways of countering uh, Airwalker on defense. Like, you can mm-hmm. bring a champion that gains power pretty fast, or you can bring a champion that... Uh, that uh, nullifies pretty good, and you can bring a Doctor Doom and completely ignore him. He doesn't do anything <laughs> to Doom. Anyways, uh, so you want to build those up. You want to build up that passive, and that passive, that Dark Tide passive, gives you some different abilities. Uh, 
it allows you to refresh some of your armor armor breaks that you gain from landing your specials but then you gotta do your fourth light combo to refresh those armor breaks uh and then <laughs> uh, like you uh, after you build this passive you have different ways of playing around with him sometimes if you have the balls you can uh like ch choose to charge the heavy right before landing your special because then you get this increased like spike of passive power gain via yeah. your power cosmics or power galactus or whatever but then if you don't land a special right after a lot of the power you just gained is gonna get depleted depleted uh because we're all about balancing here right it just we have to like when we make a character that's like really really complicated to master we just really gotta give them awful damage just really bad well his yeah. damage is not awful but um <laughs> man he's so complicated <laughs> yeah there's just it's a lot to squeeze and i don't think the juice is there uh um and then Sometimes after, you know, getting to your three power cosmics, you get mm -hmm. to land your SP3. It's pretty easy to actually get to that SP3 with three power cosmics. And it's also yeah. easy to get that dark tide passive going with uh, three power cosmics. So you get to, you know, go to your SP3, get power galactus for 20 seconds, and then... Um, that power galactus gives you a bunch of things it gives you like an attack rating it gives you an un unstoppable it gives you a little bit of regen it gives you the same amount of power gain um it gives you also a, yeah. a chunk of uh direct damage or like physical damage or whatever uh direct damage direct damage uh if uh you like land basic hits so it's you know yeah it's every something. attack has a hundred percent chance yeah um five percent damage dealt per dark tide so you want to have the dark tide passive going before you land your sp3 and you got you can like create that dark tide passive by continuously spamming your sp1 <sighs> um he has no immunities he uh the dark tide passive uh damage on offense uh, is is very very minuscule um like you you can have maybe like 300 or something per tick if you have a rank two six star just going up against the champion and then you have the armor break on them and you build the passive uh then it, it's like 300 or so yeah. um per tick and um yeah yeah wild it's it's wild man let me tell you he's just the wildest champion i've ever seen ever and the fun part about it is that like after you build that sp3 and then you get the power galactus right you you think that you can chain it right you think you can just build right back to sp3 and be like oh my god i'm, I'm double power galactus or like i kept my power galactus up no 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 you gotta uh, you can't use your sp3 right afterwards and also like your sp3 is locked again kind of uh like if you choose to build all the way up to it and then as soon as the buff expires all your power is drained so uh, yeah <laughs> um his damage is is honestly not that bad like if you do the two fights if you build your passive yeah. if you get to power galactus and then if you like build right under your sp2 and then you charge your heavy to get to that sp2 and then you launch that sp2 right away the damage is is like uh i've heard numbers around the 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 ball the ballpark of like 40k to like 80k for a rank five five star or rank five, rank five star or rank two to rank two six star either way gotcha um and yeah um he's gonna be a pain on defense though so you know there's there's that um yeah i mean uh, unless um uh, 
you bring in a Doctor Doom, and Doctor Doom just ignores everything he does. Like, you can't get armor broken. You cannot, um... You don't get the Dark Tide, the dark tide <coughs> like, passive uh, secondary effect on you. So, <coughs> it doesn't matter if you have Dark Tide in, in the next couple fights. And, yeah, man, it's, it's pretty good. Um, and there's also some synergies with him. Uh, mm-hmm. The generic, like, enemies one with Fantastic Four... Uh, there's the one with the the other two heralds. Silver yeah. Surfer has prestige. Terex has almost as much as Airwalker. Pretty <laughs> close. And also, one more thing. He has the second lowest base attack in the game. And they also <laughs> gave him negative armor. He has yeah. negative 471 armor. He has like basically pretty low block proficiency like 50s like high 50s very low 60s low crit rate low crit damage why anyways so uh, like you're not going to be critting often with this guy uh, and to remedy some of that this synergy comes in the first fight airwalker participates in grants him an indefinite precision buff increasing crit rating by 450 for that fight and the next two fights he participates in it's all about balancing, right? We can't have him have this crit rate buff forever, because that would be just broken. Uh, so what about just three fights? Yeah. That would be great. Like that's that's great to me. And then with Nova, whenever Dark Tide debuff is placed, an opponent thirty percent chance to place an additional one. I think this synergy is gonna be kind of helpful in a situation where you have a unduped uh, Airwalker. Because a dupe ability, like places a dark tide on him every once, like every eight seconds to like twenty seconds, depending on the sick. But yeah. it's um, it's alright. Um, like I went up against the Hyperion with him in one of the Act Six quests, and it's just a normal Hyperion, nothing special about him. Um, but he was just gaining power, you know, like Hyperion does. <laughs> and it took me like. Uh, Maybe 20 SP1s to build a Dark Tide passive on. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was pretty fun. Uh, and then Nova gets the... Uh, I'm not sure how the synergy is going to work out with Nova. I'm going to test it up. Test it out a little bit more in the test server we got. I'm not... Actually, I'm not sure if I have Nova in there. Because it's I a bit think of an older we synergy. would have them now. Because they just sent out synergy champions. Unless that wasn't for them. Yeah, I don't think this was for... Um, I don't think Nova was one of them, yeah. I forget and if then, I have Nova. And then there is uh, the synergy with... Um, Green, man, Goblin, Green Goblin, Phoenix, oh. and Ebony Ma. Green Goblin, Phoenix, and Ma. Just yeah. the best. Uh, the Airwalker, And this this synergy is actually probably like one of the most important ones for Airwalker. So it's, it's just great to have it be with such uh, great other characters. Uh, heavy charging increases uh, BD power rate by an additional 100, 150% and then it's reduced by 50% for each persistent charge Airwalker has um, so it, it basically makes it somewhat possible to time that heavy charge into special when you have like one or two uh, one or two power cosmics because otherwise like your power gain is pretty slow, and then like when you're charging your heavy, it it's super risky. You're completely vulnerable. There's like no protection for you. Um, yeah. Unless if you have power galactus, which gives you unstoppable, but doesn't give you any like protection. And <laughs> then there's green goblin special attack one uh, drains power eighty percent of the time per hit. Now, uh, and then there's phoenix. I'm, I have man phoenix. I have no idea what. Any of her no. stuff do? <laughs> I think <laughs> Idolus would be would be uh, ashamed of how little I know about Phoenix. I'm like, wait, she has armor breaks. <laughs> well, she has armor breaks when <sighs> when she goes into her mine. overdrive. I think. Um, but it could be overload. Wrong. She gets tries to stun. There's nothing. Done. Oh, there it is. Armor breaks have. 100% chance to armor break when she gets five or more Fury buffs. Okay, okay, yeah. So, heavies... Eh. It, I mean, 
What? How strong is that armor break, though? Um, reducing armor rating by 683.33. Oh, man. <laughs> Which means basically nothing. Yeah, that's... that's Let me uh... see. All right, and then... Now this I mean, was it's, the, it's this at least was the 30% part. reduction, I think. This was the best part of the whole thing for me. Uh, I took... I watched Karate Mike's video about Mojo soloing the champion boss in six point uh, oh, no. two in like two minutes, and then I was like, I can do this, but I can do this worse. Like I can do the same fight, but it can be longer, mm -hmm. and it can be a lot more annoying, and it can be just just a worse fight. So I was I was thinking that I would take Ebony Ma in the test server to rank five, sick two hundred. Put on Max MD. Put on like build him up in the quest, even though it doesn't really do much for him, right? Uh, it do, it doesn't do anything for him actually. Uh, so I did all of that, and then I went uh -huh. up to the champion, right? And then it took me two hundred and fifty ish hits, and that took the champion down to around fifty percent health. Nice. And this was with this synergy. And I, I I know how to like kinda of play Ebony Ma, so like I was I was trying to like maximize damage while also not dying. Cause that was that was a goal of mine, you know, not, not to die. Yeah. But, um but you know, those goals always change and I think with Ma uh, what you wanna do is is to not use them. It's, yeah. it's just um it's just how it be. Uh, choices were made. Yeah, and, and also like Honestly, this dude, uh, there's no champ in the game that I think is more of a lost cause than Ma. Because he, he's getting a synergy here, 70% attack, and he recently got rebalanced. And that I rebalancing basically too. like only uh, improved his defensive um, like stuff. Maybe For the, the most offensive part, yeah. stuff a little bit. So I think uh, Ma... Uh, it's just gonna be muffle. <laughs> I th I thought that was coming, and I wasn't sure if it was or not. Yeah, but and I and it was also max boosted, like thirty percent health and attack. It was it was yeah. quite sad. I was I was depressed <laughs> for a while uh, after that. But you know that was you, probably also you because you made the choice to do it in the first place, and you knew it was gonna probably be worse than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted, it, wanted so. to do it worse. Like, I, di I didn't go in there to, like, one-up him. I went to one-down him. Is, yeah. It, it was my goal in there, yeah. <laughs> um, also, Kat says hi because she had pigged me and I told her what I was doing. Ah. Hi. <laughs> um, and speaking of Kat... Uh, yes. Okay, any final thoughts on air blocker? Eh. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I'm likely to put much effort into learning like a full rotation for him, but it's basically the one thing I'm taking away is that if you're using him and you don't do three fights, you can't use your special three. Yeah, and like there is a rotation somewhere in there where you can like yeah. do SP ones back to back to back. To like back. I'm sure it's also something with the heavies, but I. But I've like tried that, and also like the heavy heavy charge is not enough to make that rotation actually yeah. work. Like sometimes I think you come short on the power. If he had been like suicide friendly at all, then I would probably be more apt to like try and figure it out. But I, I no. What does he have? No immunities. He like he honestly, and also one more thing, <laughs> I've I've brought this up. I've brought this up, and this this actually upsets me. Right now, we know that Kabam has the technology to change how champions work on offense and defense, right? Yeah. We have seen it with the abilities of... Um, I'm not actually sh completely sure if Airwalker has it, but I know Dragon Man has it based on like uh, his ability list. So, yeah, I mean, the the special three is active for yes him on defense i'm so pretty sure he already was. has an ability that's that works differently on deep when he's defending when he's like being fought and when he is being used on attack right so it it just baffles me that like some of his abilities like for example his offensive power rate is reduced 
not his defensive one, just the offensive one. Yeah. So like it, he needed to be balanced offensively apparently, and also the dark tide passive uh, damage when the opponent has an armor break. It's based on his base attack, and he has some ways inherently on his kit to scale that base attack with power galactus with uh, with the power cosmics, right? So why not? have that be based on his modified attack on offense rather than his base attack and then on defense so he wouldn't be an awful awful defender with massive unavo- unavoidable damage have that be based on uh you know his his base attack why it, can't it i can find <laughs> i can't f- oh there it is never mind yeah special three anyway. attack can only be used as air work has three po- power cosmic busters defending yeah it's upsetting I don't like it. I think, uh, like, I know uh, it's it's obvious that a lot of thought went into, you know, making this complicated kit, but it 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 doesn't. Yeah, it, like I'd rather like if it had been like Airwalker is the boss, or like if Airwalker is the boss, he can use the special three right away, or if he takes play part in like two or three fights, but doesn't like kills your guy or whatever yeah then you get like it's like we it's like an unequal disadvantage for sure um he's a defender he's gonna be a defender uh completely countered by doom but you know there's other characters doom uh thing i think is a pretty good character any character that has armor break immunity is gonna just completely and he's control counter villain just love it, man. Just and metal. Control, villain, and metal. It's just like a triple bingo of uh, of those uh, defense tactics. Yeah, I don't they think they have one for size or something. Defensive, slime. yeah. Instead of size large, they could have just added hashtag defensive because, you know, we know he's large. Have you seen those thighs? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking my head. But yeah, yeah, so we were saying before, cat. Yeah. Oh yeah, cat. Um, so I wanted to close up this episode by talking quickly about the Herald difficulty because oh, yes. I've gone through some more of those, and it's it's a uh, yeah, it's some of them get pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, I did the one on the first day with Arcus at the end, and I haven't touched it again yet. Yeah, I think um, I did. I did Arcus as well, and I thought that was like a decently fair fight, especially if you brought yeah. in like a, a group of mystics. Um, Arcus isn't like like the worst. The worst fight, you you can like nullify his buffs, and like he mm-hmm. wouldn't be gaining power passively. And if your character has power uh, has has buffs, you you can gain power passively that way. Yeah, or if you can nullify his power gain, then you also don't have to take the cold snap and stuff. Oh, for sure, yeah. And also, like, the lane fights. Uh, fair is fair, I thought, was kind of annoying. But um, special bias one uh, has, like, higher, harder defenders on it with uh, mm-hmm. Annihilus and Nova. So I think it was, like, a kind of a balancing act, I guess, between having the easier note being on more annoying defenders and having the the harder note being on easier defenders yeah um and then uh i've heard like horror stories about uh, doom and void and uh, actually to a lesser extent extent sinister yeah like a lot of these fights man like sinister with spiked armor like you basically got up taken like a guardian or a gate in 2099 uh, or you know you just get lucky with with warlock i suppose or like taking a quake and have a super long fight because these fights have like 50 percent damage reduction for for the class that's not supposed to be in there um yeah i don't like and also like there's like fourteen thousand attack and three hundred thousand health pools and that void I fought today had mix master. It had spry. Spry places a, a non damaging. Yeah, fatigue on you. But that fatigue actually 
deals a ton of damage to you if... Uh, oh, is it, it with gas? No, it's not gas. It's just the fatigue with void. Because... Oh, yeah, because void. Yeah, I know uh, that they've had a combination where it also does damage to you without it being void. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I remember gas. But um, they also added this node on void called Blood in the Water, where whenever the attacker has a debuff, the void just goes crazy and gains like 200% attack. And <laughs> that 200% extra attack with Spry, you basically have just... A, a super super small list of counters and you gotta be at high rank you yeah. can't have suicides and um, you gotta be an evade counter and it's it, it's just a, it's just a crazy fight yeah um, yeah I don't like I don't really love that but uh, I was hoping that you know maybe some of the some of those promises about like making fun content and making like not as niche content would be. I mean, they the did have also said that, um, like, these side events are meant to be a tuning side for the yeah, Cavalier for sure. difficulty, so this could also be them trying out something that's on the harder side. This definitely feels like a overtune, while last month felt like a bit of a... It felt like an undertune in terms of the fight difficulties in certain extent, like, especially, like, if you set aside Sasquatch, it felt like an undertune, but with Sasquatch in there, it felt like pretty you, average. It, it felt like it felt it felt pretty good, yeah. But it felt boring in the sense that like it was just so many paths, and you didn't have yeah. to do all of them. But uh, you know, uh, if you wanted to like maximize on those on the rewards that you you wanted and you needed, uh, it it felt a little boring. But this month, it it doesn't feel boring. Let me tell you, <laughs> it feels. The opposite of uh, of boring, I think. A little uh, more grueling in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of how how I have felt about that. Uh, are you gonna just stick with the shard days, or are you gonna? I will probably do the shards, and then I might tr- see what the um, mix class one is that's coming up tomorrow, or when this comes out. Apparently, Airwalker is gonna be the boss. Mm. Delightful. Eh, I can deal with it. I like. That's not the worst thing, right? I fought him in an event quest with like Claire and Sim Supreme, and I was fine. Yeah, he is um, actually a pretty decent like. And decent like worst case guy. scenario, I drop down to the epic if I really like don't want to deal with any of it. Or you know, just like save up your uh, Galactus tokens or whatever, and uh, just smash them through uh, when all your characters are available. You have, like, yeah, that's definitely one of the like plans. That. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. But yeah, check Kat's Twitter out later this week because she'll probably post a map or yeah, some other helpful guides got, if you don't that, already follow her. We got that early access to Kat's graphics. Yes. Uh, it's a uh, man. She does some. She does some awesome work. Kat is the best. She Kat also let me best. make a um a gif of. J. Nix commissioned Doc Ock profile pic, and it's my... I'm, like, <laughs> stupid happy about it. I'm gonna share it to you. Yes. Because it just makes me happy. Because it's just a Doc Ock getting bopped with a newspaper. Okay. <laughs> it's great. It makes you happy. That's <laughs> really funny. Oh, my goodness. Uh, man, these... Uh... Is it a GIF or is it like a sticker of sorts? It's a GIF and I made it into one of the emojis on Discord with oh, animated Discord stickers. Discord is, is so cool in, in terms of those things. Like, Yeah. I like Discord notifications as one of the main allures of it and like how easy sure. it is to like use it on PC and also on the phone. Like, But Line, it's, it's such a pain Line sometimes. is a lot simpler, but like Discord, you definitely get a lot more customization, but there's a little more of a learning curve of people. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing how it works for a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I was trying to get my lines to actually focus to Discord, but that didn't work at the time. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, oh, have you said that publicly that you're back in? You know what? Oh, yeah. Uh, I am back or in Or I forgot you said this in this. I'm back in for Loki. Glad to be hey. back. Uh, first week of AQ just finished in for Loki, and it was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I had like a. 
this was the last week. Hopefully, good God. Please let this be the last week that that mesmerized path is an AQ. Oh, that has yeah. been promised to be removed forever now. I... And I'm, I'm like, if one more week of that is in there, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you, Kabam. I'm coming for you. With, I'm, I'm going to take away your donuts. I'm not bringing donuts. I'm taking them away. I'm going to bed. Bad You're AQ. just gonna wait until they're back in office and then just like hoard all the donuts. Yeah, just just I'm gonna buy all the donuts that so there's a national Canadian donut shortage. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I've, I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna yeah. go uh, get some sleep in. And thank y'all, thanks y'all for, thank y'all, thanks y'all for uh, listening and your continued support and and all of that. We'll be back with some uh, some stuff that that are still embargoed but I'm very excited to talk about everything and hopefully actually I've postponed my Fantastic Four review thingy until the end of this month because I think yeah. Dragon Man is kind of Fantastic Four and I wanted to like include all the Fantastic Four uh, adjacent characters in the review okay. so, yeah. I think they're they're not done with Fantastic Four adjacent so, yeah, um, so, I'm so pretty, I think you should better just post it I'm pretty excited for for a lot for a lot of that and yeah. i'm also uh excited for that magneto buff to land yes i uh, yeah. i now have a vested interest in it <laughs> um have you done are you excited for the next sets of the boss or stuff oh yeah oh yeah for sure <laughs> i'm excited actually for that for the long marathon boss rush and yeah. also what's coming up pretty soon the 17th right the 17th is going to be the start of summoner showdown Oh, it is. Oh. And then I think we also, I think on the 24th, they're doing like an in-game legend celebration for like oh my Labyrinth, Abyss, and Realm. There's going to be a quest with that apparently, and I'm like, ooh. Oh, is there? I didn't yeah, see Yeah, apparently. That. Apparently there's going to be like some form of quest. Yeah, there. and then we still haven't heard exactly what Summer of Pain is going to be. Oh, yes. So there's Give lots me. of news that can happen in the next month. Summer of Pain, more like... And awesome too love. much content to too do. Much content. I love it, man. I love it. I'm having it's a good much. time. Finally, some some peace and quiet. And um, yeah, you get to be away from the in-laws. Yeah. Um, My parents are now co- are now trying to pick when they're going to go back up to um, New Hampshire, and this time I'm not going to go. You're not going to go. No, I. I need to work on my training, and I think I'll get more done here than I yeah, would up that, there. Yeah, that's smart too. Um, yeah. I mean, the situation um, is not, like, as dire as, like, as it was, like, especially with more people wearing masks and stuff, but the numbers are still pretty high, let me tell you, they're yeah, higher than they were. It's going to be a weird year, like, rest of the year, because I feel like, like, kids going back to school and not all schools mandating masks, it's just... So weird. Um it's like a little bit of Darwinism, but it's worse because it affects everyone. Yeah. And it's, it, uh, it's, it's kids. It's kids and it's like parents and it's grandparents and it's and it's all of that. Yeah. And, but yeah, that's probably enough from us for now while we're probably both needing sleep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, y'all, for listening. We'll be back yep. with some more stuff uh, that uh, that are going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. So we love you and we'll uh, get you next, team. Yeah. Bye. Bye.